it's 8 o'clock and we're ready to rock. Get your elbows off the table. Put your napkin in your lap. Stop playing with your food and join us in our rap. Check it out. This is how the table's set. Knife's on the right, fork's on the left. Spoon's chilling next to the knife, plate's in the middle. And the glass is to the right, utensils are used from outside in. Remember this, and you'll know where to begin. Put your napkin in your lap, it's the first thing you do. Just leave it right there till the dinner's through. When don't be a drip, wipe your lips, and mind your manners, man. For the soup, you use it, it's big and round. To the right of the plate is where it's found. Don't slurp your soup, don't reach and grab. When you butter your bread, just take a little dab. Don't use your knife that's sharp on the end. Save that for your meat, my friend. And don't be a drip, wipe your lips, and mind your manners, man. When the salad comes around, don't look like a dork. Reach to the left and grab the small fork. So eat your greens and veggies too, cause healthy food is the best for you. Don't make a mess with your food. If you do, you'll look pretty rude. Only take what you need and finish what you take. To waste good food is a big mistake. Don't be afraid to try something new. A new experience is good for you. And don't be a drip, wipe your lips, and mind your manners, man. Now it's time for the main course, so grab the sharp knife and the large fork. Hold your utensils just so, if you do, you'll be good to go. It's so easy to do it right. Remember, just take a small bite. If your meat is giving you strife, just cut it, cut it, cut it with a knife. When the meal is over, you'll want something sweet dessert. It's just a thing to eat. You need a utensil you can't lose. The last ones left are what you'll use. And don't be a drip, wipe your lips, and mind your manners, man. So don't lick your lips and fingers too, but ask to be excused when you are through. Don't forget the words please and thank you. We said enough, and now we're through. So you're hip to this, and hip to that. No, it's a wrap. Are you going my way on the carrot highway? Are you going my way on the carrot highway? Hey, hey, what do you know? Are you with me as I motivate and navigate while I educate about a little sweet orange colored root? It's the story of the carrot. And it follows a road that stretches around the world. So come along and belong to my song as we travel along down the carrot highway. Are you going my way down the carrot highway? Are you going my way down the carrot highway? They taste so good on my salad. They're fun as a tasty snack. They're frozen. How you feel? Nutritious Crunch. and delicious. A happening part of any meal. Crunch. Give me a bunch. I got a hunch. I got a bunch. A bunch of carrots. Crunch. That's right. Don't tell me no, cause now I gotta go down the carrot highway. Are you going my way? On the carrot highway. Are you going my way? On the
look at you doing everything you do knowing how to see it through never staying awake to the world around you staying alert to the life you share every move with your eyes the parade passing by like a light in the sky staying awake to the world around you staying alert to the life you share there you are look at you don't you make a most amazing sight doing everything you do always taking time to do it right knowing how to see it through look at you bright as any light staying awake to the world around you staying alert to the life you Tell them that mucus flow, the mucus hardens and the cocoon grows. Like a ring, it moves off the worm, gathering the eggs and the sperm. Oh, worms, making worms, it's mating time. I said worms, exchanging sperm, locked together with slime. The cocoon slips off the front of the worm, filled with fluid, eggs and sperm. Then the eggs are fertilized and the cocoon has little worms inside. Oh, worms, making worms, it's mating time. I said worms, exchanging sperm, locked together with slime. I said worms, making worms, it's mating time. I said worms, exchanging sperm, locked together with slime. I, I, so you've all learned the rules and camp is done. See, it wasn't boring. Bike safety is fun. We all rode down the road with the grace of ease without risking our lives, without skinning our knees. From now on, that's the way. Yeah, ride safe every day. Take the bikes, they're for you. But whatever you do, always follow the rules. Of Sam Bike Safety School. Uh stop at every stop sign. Run straight as a line. Don't swerve in front of cars. Don't ride on handlebars. When you're running on the walk, if you're passing someone, talk. Excuse, ex ex excuse me. Look front, back, and around. When it's cold out, wear your helmet when it's hot. Wear it if you ride a little, or if you ride a lot. Wear it riding on the sidewalk or a path through the woods. Wear it even when you're riding in the neighborhood. Wear your helmet if you're riding fast or slow. Wear your helmet, wear your helmet, everywhere you go. Wear your helmet every single time you ride. Strap it on, kids, wear your helmets with pride.
What the? Who? Now working the grill, Bill, it ain't so tough. But first of all, you got to check your stuff. Like a grill that set at 250. With the meat and cheese that's ready to go. A towel to keep your station looking cool. But most of all, you got to have your tool. Are you with me now? Get ready. We're gonna lay them down. Now beats got grain to it just like wood. You got to follow the arrow to lay it down like you should. From the front to the back, you got to lay it down. Space it evenly, not scattered around. Next, you got to salt the meat from the back to the front to make the taste complete. Not too little, not too much. With a little finesse, you'll get the touch. What's coming up next is our key to success. We'll turn the meat and do a four corner press. Don't wait too long, I emphasize, or the meat won't reach the proper side. When things start to sizzle, you're ready to go. Gently turn the meat, but don't be slow. Just turn them over easily. We don't want a broken patty, that's a guarantee. Press out the corners, one, two, three, four. Rock it a bit, are oh, you keeping score? Top and bottom, left and right, and you'll get a patty that's out of sight. Press out the corners, nice and wide, at least half an inch on both sides. The reason you press, you gotta think, when the meat hits the grill, it starts to shrink. We start shrinking, when we hit that grill, you know it will. We start shrinking, when we hit that grill, you know it will. Ow! When you see red juices on the top of the meat, it's time to give the turn and press a repeat. Do it again just like you did before. Do the four corner press just one time more. Now once you press this the second time, don't press them again because the meat's just fine. But when you see red juices rise, turn the patty over to the other side. Don't scrape the grill, we want it wet, you see. And keep the meat moist so it's hot and juicy. When the meat's red juices no longer rise, you can serve that patty, it'll win a prize. It takes about four minutes to cook, but just to make sure you can have a look. Use your tool and double check, it should be gray and moist, to be correct. And on this place, you're ready to go. Drain the meat, just like so. Once the draining is totally done, place the patty squarely on the heel of that bun. Now there you go, Billy, you give it a shot. Don't be afraid, I think you're gonna be hot. A customer orders a single with cheese Here's the way you do it if you wanna please Lay down the cheese in a juicy spot But don't leave it too long or it'll get too hot Tool it up, lay it off on the meat Do it right, keep it neat Drain then serve on a bun just so Don't touch it with your fingers, that's a big no-no to make a double cheese for someone big and mean, use two or four patties with the cheese in between. Don't melt the cheese, the patties have heat. Press them together and it's complete. Drain and serve like you did before, and you can handle any dude who walks through the door. If they don't want cheese and your double's plain, don't press them together. Just drain. Only serve a great looking patty. Never serve a burger that's looking ratty. But if something goes wrong and your burger's not right, there's no need to get up tight. If the dry burger broken or incomplete, that baby turns into chili meat. Don't serve that meat, you see, cause quality is our recipe. Put those patties in a chili pan and save them for all of our chili fans. But if they have cheese, then throw them away or it'll ruin our chili, our experts say. Always try to anticipate, think ahead, or you'll be too late. Whether busy or slow, one thing remains the same. Keep your meat in the stages, that's the name of the game. No less than four, no more than five. Stage of meat's important, and that's no jack. Now your patties are hot and ready to go. Right in time with customer flow. Stage one, I'm raw, you just laid me down. I'm stage two, and I'm getting brown. You turn me and press me just one time, but there's two more stages before I'm fine. I'm stage three, you press me twice, just one more stage before I'm not. Stage four, I'm hot, I should be done Looking good like I should so you can serve me, son I'm stage five and I'm still alive But serve me soon and don't be slow I've only got one minute to go The projection game is simple, you see It's just common sense, that's the way it ought to be When you know a lot of people will be coming around Don't hesitate, start laying them down When things slack off, do the same Or you'll be wasting meat and that would be a shame Just one last thing I've got to say It has to do with the Wendy's way. 
Always serve top quality, nothing less than the best. That's a guarantee. Remember this rap and you'll be hot. Give the grill your very best shot. And soon you develop some real grill skill. You'll be tough on the grill. Yes, you will. Mr. Bill. Now we gotta teach these kids what to look out for. I'm watching for them, Yellow Dino. Yeah, well, the trick is trying to figure out who the tricky people are, isn't it? Hey, who are you guys talking tricky about? Tricky people, tricky, tricky people. They look like you and me. Mm. Tricky people, tricky, tricky people are a bit way you can't see. What if you see a guy in town who wants his puppy found? What do you do when he asks for help and no one is around? Take three steps back, take three steps back, that's how you can begin. Take three steps back, take three steps back, then run like the wind. Tricky people, we the tricky people have pain down in their heart. Mm, they're the tricky people, they can't fool me cause I'm too smart. What if a guy shows you a badge and he says he's a cop? Huh? Now what do you do? How do you check? Before you go, you stop. That's right. You call 911 or you call O. That's how you begin. And if they say no, take three steps back, then run like the wind. <laughs> the tricky people, tricky, tricky people, they look like you and me. Tricky, tricky people are big way you can't see. What if a guy gives you some cash if you go with him now? Tell him, sister. What if the little voice inside of you says, no, sir, no way, no how? Take three steps back, take three steps back. That's how you begin. <laughs> take three steps back, take three, three steps, steps back. And run like the wind. Tricky, tricky people have pain down in their heart. That's tricky people, tricky, they can't fool me cause I'm too smart. Stop, think, listen to your heart.
Bob Boogie. Superheroes you can't ignore with words that make your spirit soar. Snap a picture, take a chance. Now it's time to dance, dance, dance. Up, down, all around. Get yourself up, get your belly bop down. Move your belly muscle, do the belly hustle. Trailer rock, hip hop, take it to the top. Do the belly bop boogie. The belly bop boogie. Have a ball, collect them all. The belly bop boogie. Up, get your billy bop down. Billy Bob Boogie. You just gone party, did number two. Now what you, what you, what you, what you gonna do? You're gonna wipe your bottom, 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 front to back. Wipe, 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 it's easy as that. Find the toilet paper, then take hold. Give it a pull, watch the toilet paper roll. Wipe your bottom. Get out, that's how to use your head. So don't you wait till it's too late and not know what to do. If you're cool about fire, fire won't touch you. Gotta be cool. Be cool. Be cool about fire safety. Yeah, don't be a fool. Be cool, you know be what I'm cool saying? About fire safety. Yeah, don't be a fool. Be cool. Chosen place, rats and fumes are water mess. 
tell you, it's starting to get a little messy around here. But I hear the pickup next month will be shipping this trash out to Montana or uh, some other unpopulated state you never think of. I mean, hey, come on, really. The truck picks it up at the curb and carts it away. It's as simple as that. Out of sight and out of mind, you know what I mean? Huh. These environmental crybabies are always bitching about the landfill problem. Look, I say don't worry about it. You listen to everybody with a cause these days, you think we're all drug addicts or dying of AIDS. So like I say, don't worry about it. Cans closed, bad and good, batteries that never could. Cardboard, old Ford, two by four, any kind of wooden board. Chains for lads and people too, and the kind that come in blue. Boxes, napkins, fork and spoon, and a kid's trip to the moon. We didn't stop the land. For me to keep a cow in the backyard the way the milk jugs pile up. And I don't know why I take a newspaper either. The resident couch potato only reads the comics in the sports page. If I could take all of this trash to the dump every week, my house would look like one. Well, thank God for the garbage man. Joanne, get back in the house, son, and clean the pizza off your wall. Hangers that are made from wire, bottles, and the useless tire. We make lawns of pudding green. Tons of cuttings can't be seen. Washing machine, diapers keep the baby clean, pictures, tables, cheers by two. There's a whole house here for you. I tell you, we're kidding ourselves right now if you think any of this disappears in a landfill someplace. I mean, take it from me, because I work with garbage for a living. And did you know every single one of us creates three and a half pounds of it every single day? Now I want you to think about it. What if you all had to carry, say, three weeks worth of the stuff along with you? Or maybe even store it in your locker? I suppose some of you are already doing that. I mean, we've been burying garbage for years, but now we're running out of landfill space. Unless you'd like to volunteer your backyard. We didn't start the landfills, but they can't keep going. the non-biodegradables. The problem is all the paper. Hey, don't worry about it. The problem is the landfills are just too small. The problem is the marshes, dude. Thank God for the garbage, man. I don't think we really have a problem. I tell you, we got a big problem. People don't know what to do. Hear them talk until they're blue. All that trash won't go away. Let's get real, it's here to stay. There's no problem, what's so bad? You don't care, it makes me mad. Let's take my trash and go away. But garbage problem's here to stay. We didn't start the landfills. They're from the good old days with all the throwaways. 